failure is wealth. Why do I say that? Because three years ago, I went from zero to multi-millionaire. And here is how I turned my failures in life into wealth. Number one, be vulnerable and share your learnings. Not only is this going to build trust with people and rapport, it allows you to inspire others. Right? We all have failures in our lives. How we overcome them is what matters. And if you can share that with other people, that is inspiring. I can relate with you if you've also been through struggles. And on top of that, you are vulnerable enough to share that with me and tell me how you actually overcame them. So do not be ashamed of this, right? Be vulnerable, share your learnings. Number two, do your best and trust God for the rest, right? I know some people are going to say this sounds cheesy. I do my best and I have faith in the rest, faith in my creator. It's the knowing or confirmation of the existence for that which is not seen. It's not... I hope that God's going to protect me. I hope that everything's going to be okay. It's I know everything is going to be okay. There's a specific reason why the good book says, do not fear 365 times, right? He's got a promise with you. He's got a pact with you. The only way the promise ends up being null and void is if you lack faith. The disasters in my life is the biggest reasons for my success. The disasters is what my creator took that enabled me to become the person and the leader that I am today. By the way, the next time you go through suffering, remember this, that within that suffering lies greatness. If you are willing to find it and apply it, you will reap the rewards. Number three, capitalize on learnings and problems. Problems is money that's waiting to be made. Every single problem has a potential solution. If you can find the solutions for those problems, you are going to make money. You know how many times in my business we've had a crisis, right? It's a massive problem. And then we end up creating a solution out of that problem. And we actually, instead of trying to play defense and trying not to lose a little bit, we played offense and tried to capitalize on the problem to find a solution. And we ended up making more money. Failure is feedback. Feedback is data. And if the data is analyzed correctly, that's truth. And truth equals freedom if you apply knowledge and action, right? It's just feedback. It's not the end of the world. It doesn't define who you are. It doesn't mean that you're stupid or you're an idiot. It means you did something in the wrong sequence and you did not get the desired result. If you go back and you change the sequence, perhaps you learn a little bit more about the correct recipe, you get a mentor, you get somebody that's already done it, then chances of you getting the recipe right the second or the third time gets better. No person ever succeeded with anything in business or in life without failing. Failing is learning. The more you fail, the closer you get to your success. Be blessed.